Hello everyone, this is uh, Russell Nolan with the T-Bar Company. I just want to say hello to everyone from the Spa Buzz Retreat. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about tea today. Before we do that though, I do want to make sure everyone's, uh, you know, is safe and uh, keeping, keeping secure with everything that's going on in the world. We just wish everyone the best and the best health. So let's just, uh, let's just stay together as a country. And uh, so let's talk about some little positive things and let's talk about some loose leaf tea and some a great drink for uh, for the whole family to enjoy and drink. So today what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go over a little bit of information about tea. These are some pictures of some loose leaf teas. These are all our teas with our company. This is kind of how they're bagged and everything. So gives you a little bit of an idea about our company. OK, now when it comes to. Loose leaf tea, it is the purest form of tea that you can get. It's also the healthiest form of tea you can get. It's an easy way to make. We have a little tea makers that the steep tea with. They're great for tea as well. You can also use them for coffee, but our purpose is tea. And uh, guys, I just want to go over a lot of stuff about loose leaf tea today and really help you understand a little bit more of how it can help you as health wise and uh, what we can do to kind of bring a little joy to the situation at home. This is something you can do with the whole family. You can have tea times. If you have little girls, you can always always have tea parties. So man, it's a great time to great time to be alive and great time to just to enjoy each other and enjoy everybody as families. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go through different types of teas to kind of give you a little bit of an overview. Now guys, we're not going to go into real in depth about the different temperatures and different things like that that you really want to steep all teas uh, or the exact times that each teas are going to do but we're going to kind of go over the health benefits and exactly what you're looking for when you're looking at teas okay uh, obviously guys there's about eight different teas there's black tea green tea oolong roy boss uh, white tea herbal mate tea and then of course herbal tea and so when you look at the different types of teas that you have, each one has certain health benefits that you really want to focus on. So you'll kind of know what type of tea you want to drink based on those health benefits and also based on taste as well. Uh, the first one we want to look at is really black tea. If you're looking at the black tea here, it's going to be great for blood pressure. Uh, it's also going to be great for cholesterol. It has high in antioxidants. It's also going to give you energy because it is pretty high in caffeine. As you can see, our caffeine grid up at the top to give you some idea of the different levels of caffeine in each tea. Uh, now, green tea is probably the most healthiest tea you can drink as a whole. Uh, sometimes people don't like it because of the bitterness of it. A lot of times that's, in, that's the uh, result of steeping it a little bit too long. As you can see over here to the right, you see there's different types, different times that each tea needs to be steeped. Most green teas, if you steep them longer than two minutes, they are going to turn a little bit bitter, okay? So that's just a, a little fact about green tea. If you don't like it, try it again with only letting it sit in the water for about two, about two minutes, okay? Oolong tea is a, is a very popular tea during the winter time. It's very good for uh, over iced. And so iced tea, is, we, you can get it in mango, you can get it in peach. There's so many different types of flavors that you can get with oolong tea and it's great iced. It's also the main tea that you're going to drink when you're going to a Chinese restaurant. If you order hot tea, that's typically the tea you're going to get. Uh, now the rooibos tea is a South African bush tea, very similar to an herbal tea in, uh, in the fact that it does not actually have leaves, tea leaves in it. Uh, now one thing about rooibos tea is that it's a very healthy tea as a whole. It is great for digestion, allergies, the nervous system. It's also great for insomnia. Overall, it's one of the healthiest teas that you will find that most people don't know about. Uh, it comes from South Africa. That's the only place the bush grows. So once again, it's also great with flavors. You're gonna, you'll see a lot of different flavors of the uh, Roy Boss tea, anything from a coconut almond to a pina colada. I mean, you, you can really be creative with the flavors of the Roy Boss teas. Now, one tea, this, uh, the other two teas, white tea and urban mate tea, are not the, not the most known teas in the, in the United States, but they are very healthy. White teas are super high in antioxidants, great for the immune system, and also have some cancer prevention 
in there as well. But they're also great for anti-aging because they're great for the skin care, for skin as well. So it's a great tea to drink. Most people just don't know about it. So if you've never tried it, it's a very light tea, low in caffeine as well. As you look at the caffeine grid again, it's going to be low in caffeine. So it's going to be a great tea that you can drink throughout the day. Now, Herba Mate tea, you've probably seen a lot of this tea in the energy drinks lately, uh, but it is super energy energizing. It's also the tea with the highest caffeination, uh, have highest content of caffeine in it, but it is also great for moods and just high energy. So it's a great tea if you're trying to lose weight or um, just trying to make it through the day with some with some high energy. Okay, guys. Hey guys, now you get to see my face. I know you've heard me talking for the last few minutes over here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna introduce you on how to make loose leaf tea. Uh, now I do have, if you notice sitting to my, to my right here, this is my youngest son and he is going to assist me on making tea and I wanted to bring him in because he absolutely loves tea. And uh, he's, one of, he's our youngest son and he takes after his daddy when it comes to drinking tea because he'll drink it hot more than anything else. Uh, the other part of the other family members typically love it iced. So, so what I'm going to do first of all is we're going to steep our most popular tea, which is raspberry vanilla. This tea is also is just one of the most phenomenal teas when it comes to uh, being over iced. And I want to show you, kind of look and see if you look right here. This is also what it looks like. I mean, it is just it's it looks so good you could actually eat it. And actually, you could because all it is is a bunch of different herbs. So, guys, we're also going to use our tea maker that we sell. This is a, this is a um, steeper for tea and coffee. But what we're going to do is, obviously, we're going to slide it around for tea. And uh, the one thing that we're going to do is we're going to show you how easy it is for you to make loose leaf tea at home. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over to my youngest son. I'm going to get the, the water steep, the water getting boiled so it can get hot. And he's going to talk to us about how to steep tea, okay? Hudson, it's all yours, bud. So, uh, the first thing to making... Uh, uh, so, why don't you tell us a little bit about your favorite tea. Before we get into steeping it, I want the people to understand what your favorite tea is. Because I think it's crazy that you like drinking this tea all year round. My favorite tea is pumpkin spice. And what type of tea is it? It is an herbal. A Roy Boss. It's Roy an herbal, Boss. but it's a Roy Boss tea. That's right. But you like that pumpkin taste, don't you? Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is he's going to show us how to steep the tea. So why don't you tell us, so first of all, it's an herbal tea. So how long do you do the herbal tea? Hudson? You do three minutes. Three minutes. And how many, scoops of, how many scoops of tea do you have in there? You usually do two. Two scoops for about a cup. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and show him how to do that, okay? How to use this device that we have, this steeper. There's one. We'll turn it around and make it a little bit easier for you. How's that? Thank you. And if you notice, this, the, the tea maker also comes with a little scoop and a little tray as well. So it makes it easy for everything right there. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to let the water get, get hot. So Hudson, tell me, why is pumpkin spice such your, your favorite tea? I like the pumpkin -y flavor because Halloween is pretty much my favorite time of year. And why is your Halloween your favorite time of year? Because my parents' birthdays are both near Halloween. No, your parents' birthdays are both near Halloween? Isn't one of them on Halloween, though? Yeah. Whose is that? Yours. Yeah, I know. I'm the old guy this year, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, how old am I going to be this year? Oh, no, don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. We don't need anybody to know that. So what we're going to do is obviously the water's going to be getting hot here in just a few minutes. Once the water gets hot and it's ready to go, we're going to uh, let the tea steep for a few minutes. Now, um... Guys, obviously, when you if, if, when you're looking for tea and looking for loose leaf tea, you want to find the highest quality loose leaf tea you can find. Okay, it's uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of tea out there. You're gonna have it right here. One thing we're gonna do for everyone today, because of the coronavirus and everything, anyone that is a part of the Spa Buzz uh, event here that we're doing, they're gonna get free shipping on all teas. And if they order three or more teas, you're gonna get an additional ten percent off of those teas. Just to let everyone know. And the only thing you have to do is just put Spa Buzz for, your, for the uh, promotional code. But we want to do as much as we can to help out as well. So if you have a chance to drink tea, hey, it's going to be a great thing for you. It's healthy. It does everything like that, okay? 
All right, so the water's pretty much about hot enough right now. So once it starts to boil here in a few seconds, we're gonna pour the tea in, pour the water in there. And then Hudson, you're gonna be in charge of the timer, okay, man? So we gotta pull the phone up. Now, if you notice, every time we do a tea, we have our timer set and we put it on the time that is set on the bag. The bag's gonna tell you exactly how to steep it. So just make sure you follow the instructions. Whatever tea you have, follow the instructions to so get the best and the highest quality of taste that you want, okay? So how that's gonna work is this. We're gonna do that right now. So Hudson, let's pour the tea in here. Let's go here, you ready? So let's pour the water in here. Now, if you notice, the raspberry vanilla is going to have a very, a beautiful color. It's going to start turning a little red as it, as you, as it steeps. And it's gonna steep for, for at least three minutes, okay? Once it steeps for three minutes, the cool thing is you're gonna see how this tea maker works and why it makes it so simple and so easy, okay? Hudson, what are you gonna do? When, how are you gonna get the, get the tea out of there? Uh, by putting it on top of the cup. Do what now? I'm putting it on top of the cup. You're just going to set it on top of the cup and it's going to drain all the way in there? Yes, sir. Is that pretty fun? Yes. It's easy to make tea that way, isn't it? Yes, sir. You can even do it without any problems, can't yes, you? Yes, sir. All right. That's awesome. Now, if you notice, look at the beautiful color of the tea. The tea color is just turning, turning a deep red color to show the raspberries. One of the things about raspberry tea, too, that I haven't told you yet is it has hibiscus in it, too, which is a great healthy benefit uh, in itself, okay? So now it's just a matter of sitting and waiting, guys. We have about a minute and a half. It's amazing how long it takes when you're trying to kill time for a minute and a half, isn't it? It takes a little while. You get that. What am I supposed to say next? So Hudson, what should we say next? Um, Let's talk about your brother. What does your brother call this tea? Well, this is my brother's favorite tea, so he named this uh, the Bomb Diggity Tea. Now... I'm still trying to figure out where he came up with bomb diggity from. I mean, I know I used to say that when I was a kid, but I haven't used that in over 40 years. And he just came up one day. We were at a trade show, and he started telling everybody, this is the bomb diggity of all teas. And it kind of stuck with our tea. So now it's known as the bomb diggity tea from our house. And what tea your sister like the most? She runs along with me with pumpkin spice. You think so? It's either that or uh, raspberry vanilla. Either that or raspberry vanilla. What's dad's favorite? I think uh, yours is daybreak. Daybreak, that's right. It's the black tea. I love the black tea. I, I drink tea every morning. Mm -hmm. So I love the black tea and the Roy Boss tea, but the Roy Boss tea is my favorite. What's your favorite Roy Boss tea? Uh, no. Uh, what is that? Uh, Not mine. Coconut almond. It tastes like, a, it tastes like an almond joy. Guys, this is one of the best teas out there, too. I mean, obviously, guys, we have over 40-something blends of teas. Definitely take a look at it. See what you see if you see any you like. If you like them, let us know. We'll be glad to ship them to you directly. We have about 20 seconds left, so guys. And if you notice, that tea, the tea is turning a deep red color. Beautiful tea. It also tastes just as good as it looks. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. What do you think? Now the buzzer's going off. Let's stop the buzzer. Now you put the tea Set it on top here. and let the tea. Now don't let it go all the way through. It may be a little bit much for that tea, for there that cup. We go. So there we go, guys. And that's how you make loose leaf tea. Guys, if you're if you're interested in getting tea, just come visit us at tbar.com. That's T E A B A R R.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a great week and stay safe. And everybody, stay safe with the coronavirus. Over and out. You want to drink? No.